So I did try to just film this, <laughs> but I got um, a hair in my eye. So if my makeup's a bit of a mess in this eye, that's why it's come out. So yeah, anyway, this video is about dealing with breakups and I'm not going to edit it, so it's just going to be me chatting. So if it's shit, I apologise. So as some of you probably already know if you follow me on Facebook, um, I recently got out of a relationship myself. So this is me talking from experience. So it's not just crap I'm coming out with, this is actually how <coughs> I cope with it. So the first way, which has been pretty good for me, is find something to be angry with them about. Um, now, unless it was like kind of a mutual thing, it can be pretty easy to find things to be pissed at them for. So, <laughs> so that really does a good job. If you find yourself kind of thinking about them, missing them, rather than dwelling on that, if you concentrate on the things that pissed you off, you're going to think, oh, okay, it's kind of good I got out of that one then. So <laughs> that's a pretty good way for me. Um, also, a good way is to distract yourself. My cat's going to knock. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, is to distract yourself. Um, whether that, it can be in any number of things, whether it just be a hobby, like drawing, um, reading, writing, <laughs> hiccuping, <laughs> playing with your pets, I've got plenty to occupy me, so, you know, um, or things, active things, going out with friends, um, playing a sport, something like that, it's, it's all a good way to keep your mind off it, um, and obviously the most kind of obvious one that everyone kind of uses is to surround yourself with friends and family so see them as often as you can uh, and use them to distract yourself as well tell them that you don't want to talk about it um, and I'm sure they'll understand um, so it's it, I realize I'm saying um a lot I used to do this a lot in my first videos so I apologize so Mm, yeah, also another way I have been kind of expressing myself is I have actually st um, started writing poems and lyrics again and I haven't done that for years and to be able to express yourself like that it's actually, mm, you know, made me come up with some pretty good stuff so, <laughs> you know, however you want to get your emotions out even if it's keeping a diary, um, writing a story, writing lyrics and songs you know, it's it's all a good outlet and it's good not to keep your feelings bottled up. It doesn't mean that you have to tell everybody about it. If you keep it in a diary, you can just keep it to yourself. But any kind of outlet is good because you don't want to keep it in. Trust me, I've been there, done that, and it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's a bug. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not editing, so I need to stop. Kind of, yeah, I've got a problem with concentrating at the moment. So, uh, yeah, those are kind of the ways I deal with it. And obviously, grieving. You're allowed to grieve because you've lost someone that you obviously cared about. So it's okay to be upset. Um, no one's expecting you to, you know, get over it the next day. It's just it's not going to happen. So you need to cry is absolutely fine. It's expected, it's normal, and it's absolutely kind of what you need to do. So you need to get everything out of your system and move on with your life, basically, because although you may not believe it right now, there is someone out there for you that's better than them, better that they, they will treat you better than they did, they will, they will make you feel just amazing. And I believe that that person will come along for me at some point. I don't know when, I don't know how, uh, I haven't got a fucking clue who it is, but I believe that it will happen at some point and that's also a good thing to do. If you think negative, oh I'm never going to meet someone, and, I mean of course I have moments still like that, um, which is also normal, so just believe that you're worth more than what they made you feel, because you really are. You're amazing, you're special and you're beautiful, and I don't care who you are, you, you just are and you deserve better. So hope this helps. <laughs>